Hard skills are particular skills related to knowledge and know-how. They are the specific technical skills of an area and they are objective and measurable. For example, a cook must know food properties and recipes or a tailor must know fabrics and how to work with the right tools. Soft skills, on the other hand, are the transversal skills related to knowing how to be and they are not measurable. Examples of soft skills include knowing how to communicate, knowing how to work in a group, problem-solving competencies, a sense of initiative, organizational skills, leadership and flexibility. At a job interview, don't be perplexed and don't be surprised by the selector. Try to think why they should choose me and what can I offer that other candidates can't? Focus and think about what makes you unique. Highlight your uniquenesses. You must be self-aware, you have to make them emerge and do not take them for granted. Enhance your soft skills intelligently and be calm during the job interview. Soft skills are also called life skills as they indicate the ability to stay in the world and in particular in the world of work. That is, be positively part of a group, take responsibilities, have a positive critical sense, a sense of initiative, flexibility and the ability to face changes. Here is an example of hard and soft skills in the world of wine. Let's take a look at the winemaker's job. A winemaker must know and be able to do certain activities, such as defining the characteristics of the raw material, the grape, planning the harvest, defining the working protocol, using the tools necessary for the production, as barrels, vats, air conditioning, control the winemaking process, and market the final product. He must be aware of safety conditions and know the fiscal references regarding the sale of the alcoholic products. Hard skills cannot be disconnected from soft skills. And for this reason, our winemaker will have to know how to properly relate with the working group in the vineyard and in the cellar how to collaborate with colleagues in order to optimize production and timing. He will have to organize the team effectively and use strong problem-solving skills. Finally, he will also have to know how to welcome the customer positively. All these skills are transversal skills that fall within the great areas of communication, organization, management, group working, problem solving and leadership. In other words, soft skills. An optimal working result is therefore born from the union of hard skills and soft skills. And remember that with the same hard skills, a selector will choose the candidate who demonstrates the most significant soft skills.